What's good, everybody? How y'all feeling, man? Welcome back to another episode, I guess. <laughs> Part of the documentary, whatever this is, what we're doing for it. It's not gonna be big, but quick timeline of how everything's been going. Everything's going up real fast. So we're gonna start from the beginning up to today on our second Bible study of the year. So started off with a FaceTime call with just my friends when that Bible study. So we all can have like an intimate version of um, a get together so we all can go close to the guy. But that turned from five people on FaceTime to 20 people on FaceTime. And after that led to 20 people on FaceTime to people come to my studio to come chill relax and just bond together fellowship together everything that we can think of just so we can all help each other out read our bibles and grow together as one so from there where the mouth happened started going up on instagram and it went from 20 people in the building to 30 people in the building and just these two weeks ago had like 35 40 people and just the last bible study last monday we had over 61 people in the building pastor bishop reverend dr huh? marlon i am a servant <laughs> listen about to have a good night Serving bible study all the young people coming out, you know what I'm saying? Got my boy Ryan right here. What's good, Caleb? Just from the episode. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? What's good, y'all? Jordan, how you feeling? Gotta get the music going. Set the atmosphere. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Um, more purpose podcast. Um, Bible yeah. study. Oh, this is for. Oh, this is for Bible study. Okay. Can you cut that part? <laughs> yeah. um, Bible study Mondays at eight PM. Please don't get me like this no more. Like, okay, go. All right. Me and Bob said it, man. If you ain't here trying to get the word of God, man, I don't know what you're doing, man. I'm telling you straight up. You see who went in here, bro? It's a packed out study. Okay. So I think. Family. What up, man? This is crazy. <laughs> We all one together, baby. It's love right there. It's love. Lord. Do what you gotta do, oh God. I ask, oh God, if you could just continue to be with her, oh God. Grant her the strength, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. We thank you for uh, this moment, even now, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for just the opportunity to pray for her. <laughs> So then fast forward to yesterday, I was in LA, and while I was in LA, my studio had a leak in it. it had a bad leak to where it damaged the wall, the floor, and everything. So we I went to Instagram, social media, my friend, and reached out to people and asked who had a building that we could use that would, um, that would accommodate the amount of people that was gonna be coming to Bible study, because at this rate, I feel like it's gonna be 80 plus people coming to the building Bible study tonight because of the rate that we're going, the momentum we have, Bible study is really blowing up. And God is the way I'm right now. So, hit social media up. Everybody started sharing. Posts started going up over 1,000 likes. And people started sharing and showing love and supporting and reaching out to people. And now, we can finally have the right offer, person uh, offer that they building for free and no cost to be able to use their, uh, their uh, studio space for a Bible study tonight. I can fit up to 150 people, which is a blessing. And I can't wait for y'all to see the building because the building is OD. This ain't like no little building. This ain't like no, you know what I'm saying? This ain't like no, this ain't my studio type vibe. This is in North, downtown Norfolk. And on Waterside District, this ain't no cheap, like, you know what I'm saying? 16th floor type vibe, like skyline. Like, see the window, see the whole city and everything. So that's nothing but a blessing for free. Thank you for Christina for offering us the building and letting us use your space. And just because you said it's, no, it's free, I'm gonna make sure we bless you because that's not cheap. You don't have to do that. And that's just God um, using you to bless us. So we're gonna make sure we bless you back. So can't wait for y'all to see Bible study tonight. It's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be deep. First come, first serve. Can't wait to just rock out. And uh, Marlon will give us a word today. So love, see y'all there. What are we about to talk about tonight? We are talking about the importance of reading the Bible and how to read the Bible and how to apply it to your life. The Bible has power and we cannot get close to God unless we get in his word because Jesus is the word, the living word. So we're gonna talk about that. It's a lot of newcomers today. So they don't even know where to start. Some of them don't know what the Bible is. Some, some just think the Bible is just a book of do's and don'ts. So we're gonna break that whole thing down. We 
pray for progress. We pray for peace. We pray for people to come here and get what they need and lead tonight better than they can, Lord God. I pray that everybody gets home safely, Lord. The more you get in your word, and this is the advantage of getting the word, the more you get in your word and the more you get closer to God, God will start to shine light on your purpose. God will start to shine light on what you're supposed to be doing. Because sometimes when you don't feel like praying, you don't know the words to say, open your word and God will start speaking. So I started getting my word, and that's where God started to reveal things to me. And like I said, a lot of people want to hear from God, but they don't even know how he sounds. So it doesn't matter how far you off, like it doesn't matter how far you are off. Like God still has a plan for you. He still has a purpose for your life. So God is always speaking, but we have to be in a position to be able to hear him. So I'm getting my word. So I was in a position to hear him and I was praying. So I seen that scripture. I'm like, okay, God confirm it to me one more time. I'm a person, I need reassurance. And I'm like, God, show me. I'm like, show me again. God, if this is really you, is this really you? Show me, show me a couple more times, like, so I can believe it. At this point, I'm like, oh, I know I'm not tripping. I'm like, okay, God answers prayer. So if I pray about it, he's going to show me. So I say all of that to say is that when you get in your word, when you're in a position to hearing from God, God will speak. And he will lead you to your purpose. He will lead you to what you're supposed to be doing. So every person in here has a gift from God. You may not see it because it's dormant. So the more you get into God, he will reveal your gift to you. Some of yeah. you can pray. Some of you have a gift of faith. Your faith is real high. Some of you have a gift of motivating others. Some of you have a gift of teaching. Some of you have a gift of counsel, advice, and different things like that. And some of you have a gift of interpreting dreams. It's a reason you keep having them dreams. You just don't know. You just don't know what it is yet. You know what I'm saying? So everybody has a, a specific gift. So the more you open your word, the more you get in your Bible, you will start learning more things about yourself. God will lead, lead you to where you need to be. At. <laughs>